market and we have great difficulty in selecting those things. So now what are the lessons what young lawyers can learn? And I just tabulated just four of uh, six or seven of them. The first lesson which I thought was that disadvantages don't really matter. Disadvantages don't matter. I mean, you can have, uh, uh, you can come, take Palkiola, for example, his father ran a laundry. Uh, he was in a middle class background. He they lived in a small apartment in Tardev. Uh, and from that, he just came up. He first wanted to be a lecturer, which he couldn't succeed. And then he had a huge stammer. And his brother, Bairam, tells me that he was determined to overcome that. And despite the stammer at a young age, he took part in every possible elocution competition. And of course, as you know, he then became one of the best orators India has seen. So he was able to overcome these things with tremendous amount of uh, courage. Second lesson which I could tell youngsters is that success is not accidental. In fact, the famous athlete Carl Lewis once said that success is not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be successful. So success is not accidental. It, I found throughout the interviews and particularly in long conversations with his brother Bairam that he, he was an extraordinarily determined person to succeed at everything he attached his hand on. He joined law college after he decided that he couldn't be a lecturer in English. He joined the government law college Bombay. And then in the first and second year, he stood first, first class first. And his record is that both the years, he not only stood first, but stood first in each and every individual subject. So that's his record, which will perhaps be surpassed, but cannot be equal. So that was his continuous drive. Even when he wanted to write a debate, he would practice and practice and practice. So this phenomenal single-minded determination to succeed was important thing. So I would say one, that disadvantages don't matter. Second, that success is not accidental. It requires tremendous amount of work. And the third was the single-minded uh, devotion to the profession. I see that he joined the bar in 1946 and by 1950, he was commanding a huge income. Uh, the Madras High Court records that by 1949, in three years time, his income was 50,000 rupees a year in that year, which I think is an astronomical sum in those days. A uh, few of you know that once he decided to practice in income tax, you see, there's also, he took advantage of all the opportunities he came. He didn't let, let, let any opportunity